Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Buzzsaw Tax Tip Tuesday. Jared Duckett with Duckett Lab Dental CPAs and Advisors here with my business partner, Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw, what's happening, buddy? Hey, Jared. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I thought, um, you know, we'll jump in here and we're just kind of pre-gaming. Can we say pre-gaming? Yeah, yeah, pre-gaming. Pre-gaming for this. And, you know, today we're going to talk about the Augusta rule. A lot of people have heard about that, but man, my mind just kept going you know, to, to, to April CBS, Jim Nance with the, the masters, kind of the masters uh, music, right? Yeah. It just kind of sends shivers up my spines when I start thinking about Love that. Love it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Augusta rule, well, actually Buzzsaw, we're going to get into it, but you know, it's, it's after Augusta, Georgia and the masters, right? So that's what it's yeah. That's, of? that's kind of what it's named after, you know, people were renting out their homes during the tournament and uh, kind of this rule came about and got named after it. Yeah. So let's just dive into it. I mean, Augusta rule, what is it, Buzzsaw? What does it mean? Yeah. So it's basically a way for you to rent out your primary home or a vacation home, not something that you're renting out for other purposes. You can't be renting it out for anything else, but your primary home, a vacation home, you can rent it out for 14 days or less. And that rental income is, is tax-free to you. So you don't have to you know, put it on your, your 1040. Uh, for renting out your home. You get 14 days of, of free rent. Okay. So let's think about a lot of our clients, a lot of our dental clients utilize this um, <clears throat> strategy, you know, through monthly meetings, right? Yeah. Or quarterly meetings. We run traction at our firm. I'll use this as an example. Traction in our firm where we have offsite quarterly meetings. Yep. That's right. We want to change a place, right? So we get out and I'll say before we used to, let's say, rent out a hotel conference room right yeah. so we could get away and have privacy um but now we actually go off-site on the leadership team to one of our houses right and instead of paying an amount to the hotel let's say we pay the homeowner to rent out that space so this is where we're going with this right yep that's right um and what you what you need to make sure you're doing of course is making sure that what you're paying yourself is not, you know, grossly uh, higher than what you were paying the hotel. It needs to be similar. And that's one of the, the things we got to document when we do this strategy is, is that you're paying yourself a reasonable price for what you would be renting out in your geographic area. Yeah. So how do you get that reasonable amount? How, how would you come up with a ballpark amount to pay yourself? Yeah. Um, I would just, you know, contact a couple, two or three um, hotels, see what it costs to rent out their conference room for a day country club, whatever you're, you're used to, you know, renting out for your events or meetings, just kind of, you know, get a ballpark and average it out and kind of know what it would cost in your area. And then you can then start paying yourself that. And, you know, I think the monthly meeting thing is a perfect example on of doing this because you get 12, that's right under the, the 14 maximum. You can do it 12 times throughout the year, actually hold it at your house. You have to you know, go to your house. Key, key point right there. You actually have to have the meeting. That's right. That's right. You've got to do it at your home. Um, but then you can start claiming that uh, as a deduction for the business. So it's a tax benefit to the business, but then you don't have to pick it up um, on your personal return as income. That's that's the main benefit right there. Yeah, 100%. And you said 14 days max. So if you do this for 15 days, what happens? Yeah. So if you do it for 15 days, um, you've got to pick up all 15 days worth of rental income. It's not like you get to exclude that 14 and pick up rent on the 15th. That triggers the whole, um, you know, rental income package to be taxable. Yeah. So you can do this on your primary residence. Uh, I think you said, you know, secondary residence, your vacation home. Yep. Um, something you're not already renting out, right? That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So think about that. I mean, as a dental practice owner out there, business owner in general, you probably have meetings offsite all the time, and, or you're, you're renting out space to conduct some sort of business activity. So I would just say, think about it. Can you do that in your primary residence or vacation home? If the answer is yes, then have that meeting there or have that event there. Find what a reasonable rate is on a daily basis to pay yourself for rent based on where you would have to pay somebody else as another place to hold the event. Um, and then take advantage of that strategy. Again, it's a way to get money out of the business as a deduction to yourself, tax-free. What, what better could be, I mean, what, what, what can be better than that, right? Right. That's, that's what everybody's looking for, right? Tax-free yeah. 
income and a deduction for your business. Yeah. So anyway, think about it in your, maybe, maybe you're like Jared Buzzsaw. I don't have meetings offsite. Uh, I don't think this pertains to me. Could be true. Could be true. Maybe you have all your meetings in your office. You don't do any offsite stuff. If that, if that's the case, then the Augusta rule is not for you. But if you can hold those meetings, um, and I like our meetings at our primary residence, to be honest with you, it's yeah. comfortable, it's, it's relaxed. Um, and it's, it's a way to not be in a hotel conference yeah. room, nothing against that, but kind of like right. the living room a little better, right? You're right. That's right. Or maybe even knowing about this rule, you want to start up doing some offsite monthly meetings. You know, maybe you move them offsite instead of in the office in order to, you know, take advantage of this. Now we're talking buzzsaw. We're talking yeah. about tax planning, man, tax planning. Yeah. So maybe we can convince one person out there, listen to the video that says, you know what, I'm going to listen to those guys and we're going to try to have next month's meeting at my house. Yeah. And uh, see how much money you save. Again, see how much money you pay yourself. 14 days max has to be reasonable. Document, document, document is what we always say to make sure you have a reasonable wage or reasonable rate to back that up. Yep. Um, perfect, Buzz. So any takeaways for our viewers on this? Yep. That you can start to your home and start taking advantage of this uh, Augusta rule. Yeah, hundred percent. You kind of cut out on us, Buzzsaw. You're at, you're at your home office, man. Uh, yeah. But no, I mean, you know, just basically like Buzzsaw just said, I mean, take advantage of the Augusta rule if you can. Um, it's a benefit out there. Try to take as many. Uh, we try to help you guys look at strategies that can benefit you. So if the Augusta rule is for you, definitely let us know if you have any questions, but take a peek at it. It could save you some money on your tax bill. Um, so anyway, Buzzsaw, appreciate you, buddy. Everybody yep. out there, appreciate you guys as always. If you have questions, let us know. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. All right. Thanks, Jared.